I want to start off this video by apologizing to my elders. I made this video for my sister with the help of different family members' knowledge about our Apache culture. So I apologize if there is any perception of anything wrong. Tori's first name comes from her maternal great-grandmother and her middle name is her paternal great-grandmother's maiden name. It's Sunday morning and we're starting on my sister's house. My sister just got done praying for the day. But only the women can help build my sister's house. We all got up at like 4.30 and right now we're getting her willow first. This is the morning squad. I get to use the chainsaw to cut down the willow. Right now we're going through the jungle to find the willow. It's, uh, it's just the one. Okay. Tori and her partner are praying for the willow before they cut it down. Yeah. After the willow gets cut down with the chainsaw, then they go in there and pull it off themselves and drag it to the truck. We had to come deep in here. And then we drag it out and gotta load it. We're all loaded up. Now we're gonna go get some food. Here's her campsite. It is at Park Cabin at Point of Pines in St. Carlos, Arizona. It's way up in the mountains, really secluded, beautiful, no service, so we were off the grid all week. This whole area was just trees before. Here's a guy's little work clip. My brothers, my dad, and my husband, along with other men. <coughs> helped put this up all by hand. Uh, so like that fence right there, my brothers put up with tree branches and bobbed wire. This right here is made out of tree branches weaved in and out throughout the bob wire to create the shade part and that shade right there is where the food line was where everybody came to eat. This is the entrance to the camp and there will be flags put up here later. All the holes had to be dug for the poles to be put in and then the mesh was put around them as tacked as a fence as well as the tins. Now we're going to do Tori's house. That's in your box, I think. This is the yucca. Oh, yeah. Here's a rock. Making a rope to tie the branches together. The girls are starting on Tori's first hole for her frame for her house. They're using their hands right now, but they only use two other tools to complete this. You kind of work fast, girls, okay? Good job, though. So my mom said that because the girls need to have Tori's house done before the sun goes down. They say 
Even though the guys are all saying it numbed them up, got them woozy, heart palpitation. Here's the guys getting that yucca on the side of the road on the way up to the mountains. Let me see the bottom. Yeah. I got stabbed. You did? It's My dry, head. but. And then now separating her willow. We need rocks. We got three more crates of that. Look at baby girl. All the holes. Last one. Do it again. Bring it already. She's bringing her first frame in. Has to carry it around the whole circle. She's tying her two main poles together and this is a big deal for her because she is afraid of heights but this is just one of the many tasks that she conquered over the week. Now that the girls put in the four main posts, we're able to help her. So right here, everyone is just tying together everything with the yucca. The frame, the full frame is up. How do you yeah. feel yeah. about the house? It was. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm, it looks pretty nice. It's just it's that tissuing up on the ladders. It's scary for me. Yeah. Nice. Good job. Other than that, but yeah, everything else is pretty easy. Oh, cool. So what do we just need? A these ones just get weaved in to fill the gaps. My sister is all done with her house. So proud. Now she just sprinkled pollen to pray for her house. How do you feel? Oh, about the whole thing. Just about your house. Huh. I like it. Luckily, my uncle has this neat tool that helped dig the holes for the poles, but right here they're just putting another barrier around my sister's house. They got the rest of the tents put up, and that's where my mom and dad are sleeping, right by her house. This is my brother's tent right next to them, and you can't see it right here, but they put a line of bells by the entrance just in case any animals were to enter her house area. This is the top view of the camp from my mom and dad's camper. In the camp way over there is her godparents. This area is the kitchen. This is her bonatana, aka donkey bread. What are these? What kind? What are you making? Apache Kool-Aid, I think. Apache Kool-Aid? Yeah. Cool. What does that mean? It says, welcome, I am the girl from Sanajan. What do you say? Tagote, Kunse, Angelina Randall. What does that mean? Hello, I am Angelina Randall. How about you? Yate. Shabane! <laughs> <laughs> what you making? I'm making ash bread, donkey bread, tortillas, and fried bread. What's that for? Hmm? What's it for? Baking powder? No, what's your bread for? Yeah, sweat lunch. Tori is grinding her rock in order to make her paint.
off once it's broken down, her partner is sifting it so it can be as fine as possible. We are on our way to take food to the sweat. sweat and he's telling her that she needs to rip her bread into little pieces so she can give it to everybody. This represents her being giving and selfless. Every time she is done with the task, she has to run back all the way to her camp. And this represents her having endurance in life. This is the food exchange on Friday afternoon where Tori brings her food to her godparents' camp. let them know that we arrived at their camp. for the first time during the ceremony and this is them accepting our food. <laughs>
after her godparents accept her food, they do a few social dances with her. getting ready for her dressing.
night, Tori danced 32 songs, and this night is considered social night where everybody is welcome to come dance. Saturday morning and her and her partner are faced towards the east towards the sun rising and Tori danced 64 songs on this day alone six hours straight in the morning Godparent side came and grabbed my brother to dance with them, and it was his first time dancing as well. parents are on their way to come dance by her side. this whole ceremony Tori is considered holy and pure that's why you see everybody turning clockwise before they pass her and you're supposed to take your hat off as well <laughs> Godmother is getting ready to put her cane in the ground while my sister gets ready to dance on her knees. song 
song in every dance has a meaning. This is the kneeling phase, in which recreates the changing woman impregnated by the sun. She dances with her hands raised, looking directly into the sun, swaying side to side. idea she had to do four songs on her knees and each song is a little over five minutes <laughs> Godmother is getting ready to massage her. First, she'll massage her with her hands and then with her feet. Her godmother is molding her to be strong and beautiful. <laughs> Godmother is praying that she only speaks kind words, good words, and nothing harmful or hurtful to others or herself. <laughs>
these songs, my sister is going to be running in the four directions, representing infancy, childhood, adulthood, and her elderhood. <laughs> Godfather is getting ready to dump the basket and everybody gets to catch the candy or money that falls out. The guy in the red is going to protect her feather on the ground and my brother Chase is behind her getting ready to catch her in case she falls because as you will see it gets pretty crazy. <laughs>
When Tori starts her journey, only her godmother and her partner are allowed to touch her. She's not even allowed to touch her face. She uses her straw that she drinks out of. She uses it to scratch her face or move hair out of her face. She's not even allowed to look at herself in the mirror. And she's only allowed to drink spring water out of her straw. This is Tori after her prayer line was complete. There was a lot of people who wanted to pray for her or wanted her to pray for them. That's why you'll see uh, the pollen on her, on her face. It's not allowed to be recorded, so it won't be in this video. It's Saturday evening. You'll see the clown crown dancer come to Tori's camp. He'll bless the camp, he'll bless the fire, and her and her partner, and then he'll tell them that it's time to come dance. These are the four other girls that danced with Tori Saturday night. The far left is my god sister and the other two are Tori's godparents, goddaughters. Her medicine man is leading them around the fire to pray for it before they start dancing. All of the girls that are dancing behind her have already completed their dances.
Tori's house that she'll be dancing under on Sunday. dancers are very powerful spiritual beings and they all have a special purpose and they're all helping my sister complete her journey. Tori's medicine man never reuses crowns so he always specially makes each crown each time and after they're done dancing they'll get buried up in the mountains wherever they belong <laughs>
clown came to her camp and is praying for her and letting her know when it's time to dance. Sunday morning.
she's on her way to grab her godfather to bring him into her house so he can paint her. and she had to grind it very finely so they can make it into paint. and then when they're done her godfather paints her.
are going to walk around and bless everybody. breaking down her house. Tori is on her way to do the gift exchange, which is her bringing gifts to her godparents' camp. Godmother is going to undress her now.
Now that she's all done, she has to tear down her house and the rest of the camp. We'll go from the inside. Oh, I think it's Huh? Okay, not that. Okay, there you go. Pull them all out. And one more. And you're going to have to tilt it that way. Oh, oh, Lena, you're stuck in there. <laughs> Blue is done. That's her last one to go down her cross. That's cool that he put that there. All tore down. See you later, bears. No more camping with the bears. Her house is over there. The kitchen. The camping. And then the dance area.